Welcome back to today. We bring you the complete guide on the cup with handle pattern. If you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your skills or a beginner eager to learn the ropes, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll break down the cup with handle pattern, dissect its anatomy, and show you how to spot it like a pro. So, grab your notepads, sharpen those pencils, and let's uncover the secrets of the cup with handle together. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest trading insights. Now, without further ado, let's get started. We've got you covered from start to finish. We'll be discussing all these crucial aspects of the cup with handle pattern, guiding you through where and when to use it, how to spot it, understand cup duration, pinpoint ideal trade entry moments, establish smart target and stop loss levels, and even explore the inverse cup with handle pattern. By the end, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of this pattern to enhance your edge in trading. Understanding when and where to apply the cup with handle pattern is important. Cup with handle is a continuation bullish pattern designed to identify potential upward trends. It reflects a period of consolidation preceded by an uptrend indicating that buyers are taking a breather before potentially driving the price higher again. However, it's crucial to note when not to use this pattern. Cup with handle should never be employed as a bearish continuation or a reversal pattern. Using it under these circumstances may lead to false signals and trading losses. The pattern excels in identifying and capitalizing on bullish continuation opportunities, but should not be forced into roles it wasn't designed for. Recognizing the cup with handle pattern is the first step to leveraging its potential. Let's see what key factors help us identify this pattern effectively. First and foremost, because it is a bullish continuation pattern, the prevailing bullish trend is expected to continue post a breakout. So obviously, the first condition is the counter must have exhibited an uptrend prior to formation of the pattern. This pattern is also called consolidation pattern as the formation of cup signifies long-drawn battle between bulls and bears where bulls ultimately turn out victorious and manage to push the price higher. Therefore, the longer the battle goes on between bulls and bears, the lower the chances of a failed breakout. In fact, patterns that take a very long time to form and give breakout often give rise to a decent up move. To spot the pattern before breakout, Pay close attention to the shape of the cup forming after an up move. For the pattern to work without fail, the cup must be deep and broad. Think of it as a coffee cup. The deeper and wider it is, the more time it represents for a market to consolidate and gather the strength for the next rally. Now, here's a tip to remember. Avoid those V-shaped bottoms. A V-bottom suggests a rapid reversal which is not what we're looking for with the cup with handle pattern. We want to see a gradual accumulation of the stock under the surface, indicating bulls are taking their time to regroup. After the cup formation, we enter what's known as the handle phase. This is a period of tight consolidation. Ideally, handles should form in the top half of the cup pattern. This positioning is considered more bullish and indicative of a stronger potential breakout. Now, here's an interesting aspect of the handle phase. It can take on different shapes. The handle can be either horizontal or sloped. A sloped handle implies a gradual, often diagonal consolidation with a downward bias. This shape can be an indication that the market is making a slower but deliberate move towards the breakout point. Sloped handles can be indicative of a more measured and patient buildup of momentum. With a horizontal handle, the handle forms as a flat, sideways consolidation pattern. It suggests that the market is stabilizing at a specific price level before potentially breaking out. This type of handle often indicates a more sustained and less volatile continuation. Remember, whether it's a horizontal or sloped handle, both are valid within the cup with handle pattern. But sloped handle is more effective. Let's talk about breakouts. Timing is everything in trading, and you should know when to enter a trade based on the cup with handle pattern. For downward sloping handle, Draw a trend line that connects the highest points of the candlesticks within the handle. When a candle is formed where the closing price crosses this trend line, it serves as our entry signal. For a horizontal handle, draw a horizontal line that touches the highest points of the candlesticks within the handle. An entry signal occurs when the closing price is above this trend line, indicating a breakout. Now let's discuss how to assign our targets and stop loss levels. When trading the cup with handle pattern, several studies conclude that the target should be equal to the depth of the cup from the breakout levels. 
However, in our experience, it's recommended to set your target at a level equal to half the height of the cup pattern. This target should be added to the breakout level, the point at which the price moves above the handle portion. If you do want to go for a target equivalent to the entire depth of the cup, then it's advisable to secure at least 50% of your profits when the price reaches half the depth of the cup pattern. So you only trail your profits on 50% of the original position size. To manage risk in this trade, set your stop loss at the lowest low of the candles that formed in the handle portion of the pattern. Last but not the least, this pattern works on all time frames. That means you can trade on it as short a duration as 5 minutes and even on weekly charts. But note that the longer the time frame on charts, higher the chances for the pattern to work. Lastly, in the world of trading, the inverted cup with handle pattern is one that should be approached with caution. This pattern is notorious for its unpredictable nature, making it a risky choice for traders with an almost equal chance of acting as either a continuation or reversal pattern. It's akin to flipping a coin when considering its potential outcomes. What's more, trading this pattern carries a significant risk of losing half of the trades taken, which can be detrimental to one's financial portfolio. To avoid such risks, traders are advised to not use patterns that do not have at least a 70-80% to 80 success rate favoring strategies with a more reliable track record for consistent results in the world of financial markets. As we conclude today's video, we hope you've gained a deeper understanding of the cup with handle pattern and how it can add edge to your trading. For more trading insights and market updates, be sure to subscribe to Methodical Trades and stay connected with our growing community of traders and investors. Until next time, happy trading.